Hey guys! So today I have two hands. I'm going to try this out. We'll see if it works. Um, definitely going to have to watch the video just to make sure you guys can hear me. It's kind of oddly set up. So um, I want to show you the junk journal that I got. The sewing theme junk journal uh, that I got from my partner. Um, so... Uh, I did peek a little, just kind of on the outside. Um, I didn't really go through it all, so we're going to do that together as a first for both of us. So she did have it wrapped around with this lovely ribbon and this cute little lace bow, which this lace is so adorable. So we're definitely going to use that. And... Here we are. Make sure we're in frame here. So I'm gonna get get rid of the tissue paper. Stick that over there. All right. So beautiful. I love these these little pictures. They're cute. So cute. Little mini pattern. Because I said so. A little flower and some. Uh, cardboard paper, little rose doilies, beautiful. So then check out her charm. Um, she has some bobbins that are threaded, and then she used wire for these beads, which is kind of cool. Um, so there's a button, a thimble, and an iron, keeping with the sewing theme there. Can you see all those? Sorry if this video is horrible in advance. I, you know, like I said, it's the first time being able to use two hands. Um, I definitely have to get a better setup than this. So it's like it's all balanced. I have stuff under, stuff on my sewing machine box, and then stuff under to keep it angled so I can get as big um, of an area, and then stuff holding my phone down. And oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> so um, this is a pretty chunky journal with some wonderful fibers and laces so it looks like five signatures in there that are sewn in all right and then her seam binding is attached with brads and then she has just some empty wooden spools So I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but we will try to do our best. So we have an envelope here of an old school sewing machine. Um, there are some it's a little journaling tag. <coughs> I like that idea. It's cute. <laughs> uh, so a corset stamp and a beautiful napkin um, this is a Tim Holtz stamp I have it so I know <laughs> um, experience is not what happens to you it is what you do with what happens to you yep that's definitely Tim Holtz <laughs> so we have some A cute little tag in there. <laughs> this is so cute. Singer. I like this. This is like a comic. <laughs> I like that she didn't use black or brown. It's like a like a red ink. I really like that. This is cute. The little miniature. Looks like a miniature pocket letter. <laughs> Some tags. Tuck spots. <clears throat> it's another tuck spot. Maybe. 
No, nope, that one's glued. <laughs> That's a tuck spot. I like that. It's cute. Cute. Ooh, I like this tag. She definitely made it very vintagey, and I love the fibers. So awesome. Oh, it's a flip out. Okay. So that's the end of the first signature. It's another flip. A little coin envelope. Ooh, there's something in there. It's a tag. I don't know. Did you see that? Probably not. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Sorry. My bad. Let's see if I bring this down. That should be better. It looks like this is all dyed paper. I can't. I'm not sure if it's tea or coffee. Sometimes it looks like coffee. Sometimes it looks like tea. I don't know, but it's be. Ooh, this is definitely coffee. Beautiful. I love when it gets the spots. <laughs> Envelope with a tag. Top spot. This paper. Wow. I wonder if that's some of the old graphic 45 that's no longer in service. Not bad tuck. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> she stapled that up. It's from the die cut. Which I need to get. Every time they're on sale on Blitzy, they're all gone before I get to them. So, you just need to be a little more fervent. I like that. Claim check. Sorry, I got a little quiet. It's kind of early. Um, I had to get up and dye some, well, Kool-Aid dye some, uh, some paper for my Halloween journals. Um, and I just got done ironing them as well as some leftover copy dyed paper that I hadn't ironed. So they're all flat. And ready to be printed on so that's the trick uh, figure this out on my own and then I realized hey that's what everyone on the YouTube videos have said <laughs> um, so if you're gonna print on your coffee dyed or tea dyed or kool-aid dyed papers uh, you do want to make sure that they are flat as flat as can be around the edges um, you don't want to have any of this rippling like she has here. You wouldn't be able to print very well uh, because it does get caught in the printer. So, <clears throat> yep. So I did did that this morning. And then I am gonna be heading out. I, I have one thing that I need, and I intend fully intend to get that one thing unless they don't have it then I will leave hmm. come on I don't care how poor a man is if he has a family he's rich totally agree family and love 
are worth more, far more than any amount of money. And if you don't agree, then you definitely missed out on something growing up. And I'm sorry. Because <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> so. Oop, let's pull this over. I love this washi tape. It's beautiful. That's a cute idea, making a frame. That is really cute. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's like old polyester. That is going to go on a mini journal for sure. Beautiful. Oops. Pocket came off. I was going to say, that washi tape's look, looking backwards. Because it was. Because <laughs> it came off. Why is it not sticky? I'm gonna have to get some, get some of my scotch glue and glue that down. Make sure that it stays. I love these dictionary pages. They're really old. Beautiful. I love old books. There we go. That is the end. So, that is my journal. Let's tuck this guy in here somewhere. There we go. We'll tuck him in here. There we go. So, that is my journal that I received from my partner on the Junk Journal Junkies sewing theme swap. Um, I hope that the video worked out and we're going to test it just to see. So, thank you.